Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Back at it with another settings crash workaround, but this time for the classic space horror Dead Space. Timestamps in the description as always to jump to what you're looking for. With the remake on the way, it's the perfect time to revisit this masterpiece. Unsurprisingly, this oldie doesn't play well with PC, so we're going to have a bunch of little quirks to go over to get the best performance in terms of no issues. The issues tend to stem from the refresh rate, since it's so high on modern PCs that the older games don't like it because they were planning to have a much lower frame rate. First, we're going to go over where the settings file is located and how we can change that outside of the game if your game's crashing like mine was. And then we're going to go over a mod that is essential to have if you're playing on PC as it fixes the mouse sensitivity because it is absolutely horrendous on here. If you've played Dead Space on the PC with no controller, you'll know what I'm talking about. This mod fixes that issue. And then we're going to go over all the quirks that the game has with modern PCs and stuff to look out for. Like there's a door that you can't get past if your refresh rate is higher than 120. So we'll go over a few ways to change that and make sure that everything's running correctly. I did a similar video fixing the settings for World at War and this is pretty much the same solution. The steps are very similar to that fix and can apply to a lot of older games. So when you're in the game and you try to change your settings, after applying them your game will crash and possibly lock your computer. At least that's what happened to me. I don't know why older games have this issue, but I do know how to get around it. All we need to do is change the settings file for the game. It's going to be in your app data folder, so be sure that you see that since it's a hidden folder. If you're having trouble finding the app data folder, see how it's not as clear as these ones? That's because it's technically a hidden folder, and if you can't see, you might need to enable being able to see your hidden folders. So to do that, just go down to your search bar and type in File Explorer Options. That's what we're going to be looking for. Now it's going to pull up this little box, just head over to view, and then right here, this is the box, show hidden file folders and drives. If you can't find that app data folder, just make sure you enable this, and then you'll be able to see it. So you're going to find the settings file for your Dead Space game in your app data folder. You can find this by typing in percent app data percent. So this will take you to your roaming, so if you just click right back here to app data, you can go into local, Electronic Arts, Dead Space, and here's your settings file. So the directory for it is your PC, your C drive, users, your PC name, mine's the beast, then app data, local, electronic arts, Dead Space. And here's your settings file. So right here, here's everything that you're gonna wanna change if it's crashing your game. So right here, your window height and your width, this is gonna be your resolution. So I'm running 1440p, so you just want to change this to the resolution that you're looking for and then save it when you're done and then right here here's your refresh rate i have mine at 144 which will cause issues right after you get the plasma cutter so the highest you want to set it to is 120 but it's up to you to test and play around i set mine in 44 and then when i enable vsync it puts it at 70 for some reason i don't know why but uh as long as it's below 120 you'll be able to get past that one part and then there's a lot of users that say to disable vSync for the best performance. So right here, this is where you're going to change it if it's crashing. Uh, just true if you want it on, false if you want it off. I did have it off and I was getting around 200 frames, which was causing some issues when I tried to go through the door. So I just turned it back on and it dropped it down to 70 for some reason, but it worked for me. So I'm going to leave it there. And then here's where you're going to have some other stuff. So like uh, motion blur, bloom, anti-aliasing, flare, glow. If you're trying to change these in the game and it's crashing, you can change them here. True is on, false is off, and then you can even change the mouse sensitivity right here if you're having issues. I believe I was able to change mine in there without crashing the game, but this is your settings file. So just change it in here. And once you're done, just file, save, and now you're good to go. Now you should be able to play through it in the resolution and frame rate that you desire. So now onto the mod to fix the shitty mouse sensitivity. And it is super shitty. You should have no issues using a controller, as the game was designed to be used with a controller, so just hooking up a controller, you're not going to have any of this mouse sensitivity nonsense. So I found two places to get this mod to correct the mouse sensitivity issue. One of them is on nexusmods.com, I'll have that link below. The other one is found right here in the PC Gaming Wiki. I downloaded them both and opened them up, and they're both the exact same mod. So wherever you want to grab it from, just grab it and throw it in and it'll get that fixed for you. It's night and day difference. So just go over to nexusmods.com, I'll have the link to this mod down below, 
And what you're gonna wanna do is download it. Once you have it, you're gonna wanna extract it since it is a zip file. You can do that by right clicking and doing extract all, or if that's not working, you can use a program like 7-zip. But once you extract it, you should see the mod right here. It's this dinput8.dl file. We're just gonna add that into the games directory. There's a readme file that comes with it if you're still having issues. So what you're gonna want to do is add it to your games directory, and this is just wherever you installed the game to. So mine's on my G drive, my gaming drive, and then under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then Dead Space. And then right here, this is your games directory. So just grab that file, the D input one, and then copy it or drag and drop it, whatever works for you. But that's it. It's that simple. Now your mouse sensitivity is going to be so much better. It's ridiculous how terrible it was before. And this simple mod fixes it. It makes playing with mouse and keyboard a dream to do now. <laughs> it was just absolutely horrendous before. And now it's playable and it's perfect. And I love it. This mod is great. Thank you to the creator for making this. Some people don't want to play with the controller. <laughs> it's just fucking atrocious. So now we're going to check out all these weird quirks that the game has when you're playing on PC. I was searching the Steam discussions for Dead Space which, by the way, is one of the best features of Steam, where I found a link to the PC gaming wiki. So thanks to Ginkgo for sharing this. Dead Space's mouse sensitivity is tied to your frame rate. It's really stupid. The game was mainly designed for consoles locked to 30 FPS, and they exploited that. So on PC, the higher the frame rate, the lower your mouse sensitivity and vice versa. And it has to render different things, so your mouse sensitivity can do the same thing. So essentially, that's the issue that's causing this, is modern computers have higher refresh rates, and that's what causes the issue. So here's the PC gaming wiki on Dead Space. This has a ton of great information and little quirks about the game that can cause issues, so give this a look through if your game's not running right, or if you're stuck, and this might have the answer that you're looking for. Of course, I'll have this linked in the description, so feel free to check that out. I don't know if you've used the PC Gaming Wiki before, but there's a ton of great information in here. How to fix your field of view, how to fix anti-aliasing, your ambient occlusion, info on all the inputs that work, here's how you would remap your key bindings, edit your key bindings manually, audio stuff, so in here we're going to see some issues that the game is known to have and how we can possibly get around those. Here's the Dead Space Mouse Fix mod. So if for some reason you can't get it off nexusmods.com, you can just come over here and download it through this link. I downloaded it through it. You don't need an account or anything. Good to go. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you have too high of a frame rate, if it's above 120, you're going to get stuck at the door after you get the plasma cutter. Here's a clip of me. I opened the door. Some weird shit happened. Supposed to be one of those monster things here, he wasn't there. I was stuck getting through the door. So what I did was I went back and I actually enabled V-Sync, which locked my frame rate down to 70 for some reason. But since it was below 120, I could progress through the door. There's some other ways you could lower your frame rate down to 120. We could do it in the settings by capping it at 120, or you could go over to your NVIDIA control panel. And then right here, you could just lock that at 120. That's another way you could get around it and do it. If you click this link right here, your frame rate capping, there's going to be a bunch of different solutions to lock it down to 120 if that's the issue you're having. As far as I know, once you get through that door, you can shoot your frame rate back up. I haven't gotten through the whole game on PC, so we'll see if there's more. But you can see right here, enabling in-game V-Sync option will also solve this problem. That's how I got through the door. Here's another issue. Uh, in Chapter 5, the Lethal Devotion, Dr. Chalice doesn't show up, so make sure you have a save before this part and just enable the V-Sync on your game. That seems to be a solid workaround to get through that part. So, as usual, I say this in most other games, save often and in many slots. That way, if you get to a part that's causing you issues, you can load back a little and use one of these fixes. Right here, there's a deadly lockup during the landing in zero gravity. This can be fixed by capping the frame rate to 60 or 30 FPS. So if you're having issues in that spot, you could cap your frame rate at 60 FPS, get past that part, and then change it back. Here's some fixes if you have a large dead zone. If your game crashes during launch, maybe this one's a good fix for you. Just change your window full screen and window vsync options to false. You could try unplugging and disabling the controllers. You could run the game on a single core. I haven't had to come into that, but maybe if your game's crashing, it's going to be a good fix for you. This is just all great information to know. Information for if you're having an audio stutter, if you're getting the spinning camera issue, this is probably a solid fix on how to get around that. And then maybe you've played the game before and you want the impossible difficulty. Here's a way on how to change it. Just right here where it says game played, just change that to one, and then we'll trick it into thinking that you've already beat the game, and that's how you get the impossible difficulty. So that's it, friends. That's just a whole bunch of stuff that's in this PC gaming wiki that can help you out if you're having issues like the ones that I just mentioned. Great shit. Glad to everyone who put this up there and went through this and tested it out. I have this link below if you need to check it out. 
PC wiki is amazing. And there you have it friends, some really solid info on how to get your Dead Space game running right. Big shout out to the Steam discussions page and the users on it, and a huge thanks to the collective information from the PC gaming wiki. There's a lot of these issues that I wouldn't have been aware about, and knowing about them will save you from a huge headache. This information can help out a ton of users. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Throw a like up on it if it helped you out. Get subscribed if you want to see more videos like this one. I know of a few more troublesome classics that we're going to dive into. As always, I appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks again, my friends, and we'll see you in the next one.